Hey folks, today we will talk about uh, artificial intelligence programming languages. So, you know, artificial intelligence is not the new term and even the Alan Turing, actually, the code breaker that uh, started in the 50s, uh, the paper about the intelligence start actually the artificial intelligence revolution. So it was a long time ago in the 50s and uh, in the 50s or 60s we got the Lisp and Lisp was the first programming language for the artificial intelligence and uh, it was suitable for the symbolic reasoning and actually the ability uh, to be self-aware and actually understand the program was understanding uh, themselves and they was the homo iconic so the program was the data and the program was capable to change itself so it's a lot of interesting philosophical things but in 70s actually appeared the european answer to the american lisp and it was prolog so prolog was based not on the lambda calculus and the pure functions it was based on the first order logic so we bring the logic actually as a Turing complete instrument for the programming, but the uh, Prolog programs actually was quite different because uh, Prolog programs uh, was about the symbolic reasoning too, but they was targeted to the uh, natural language processing. And actually Prolog it's eliminated the border between the database and program because your program actually is the set of facts and the uh, rules that connect the facts together. And uh, this completely declarative. So it's mean that you just say what's true and what makes sense. And you have the core that actually was uh, dealing like the artificial intelligence because you define the set of rules that say what's true and what you want to get. And after that, you go and ask the questions. And the solver as a core of the prologue. <coughs> Uh, analyze the facts, analyze the rules, and give you the answer. But the power of the prologue was the uh, uniformity and the logical variables. And logical variables, actually, it's not the variables in a sense of other programming languages. They uh, really try to uh, fulfill and keep the balance between left and right um, side of the equations. And it's a completely different way of um, reasoning about the programs. And the subset of the prologue is a data log. It's extremely powerful uh, data management and data query language that could express uh, way more than uh, nowadays SQL. But why are we talking about the artificial intelligence programming languages? Because, you know, first of all, it's super important to understand the history of the artificial intelligence and maybe gets back uh, to some steps and gets the best things of it because solvers they not so complex solvers uh, based on the logic and uh, i believe that modern prolog and data log they could help us a lot in a space of the data in a space of the knowledge graphs and maybe the common logic to cancel with the data log could be used for the ontologies and uh, could solve some problems of ontologies for the hypergraphs and ontologies for the complex data that really uh, need something more complex than just uh, the standard ontology languages that are more RDF uh, based. So I really believe that Prolog and Datalog is the future for the artificial intelligence, is the future for a lot of analytical tasks that may be uh, not suitable or maybe could be made much faster with the solvers than with the small language models. So I recommend you to go and learn something about Prolog and Datalog and uh, see you in Berlin next week.